Aquarius, and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from December 12th to December 19th. This space has been cleared, and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, Let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Aquarius content is uploaded. Aquarius content comes out every single Tuesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe, and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon is where you're going to get, uh, if, where if you need regular personal readings at a discounted rate, you're going to get that on the Patreon account. That's what that's for. Uh, also down there in that description box, you'll find all the ways to contact me across so my social media platforms. I only ask that you keep it professional with me, and I'll keep it professional with you. You can find uh, this link to uh, my Redbubble store where you can get this mat and other products like it. I am also happy to announce that um, I will be uh, producing some rose scented organic scented uh rose oils in the forms of rollers um rose water um room fresheners uh i'm looking up the rose water for the skin tonic i want to make sure i do it properly so i gotta make sure that i've got that in line but it's also uh, i've got some rose and rosemary uh Scented. There's a couple other scents in there too. But again, oral organic um, satchels, like potpourri satchels. Uh, some of that stuff in there does have some um, protective uh, metaphysic qualities that are in there. There's some Yerba Santa and some Vertivert in there as well. So it's got some uh, healing properties. It's got some relaxing properties. It's good for freshening some stuff up. So I will be uh, putting those links up on the social media platforms for the uh, purchase of those things. That'll go to my uh, Square store. So please do check that out as it is now the holiday season, right? So let's jump into the astrology here in the 12th it is a new moon at 6 32 p.m on the fourth i dropped uh well five readings really because you got your four new moon readings the astrology which i went into even a couple of days afterwards where you know the, that are critical and then um your three oracle cards plus an angel number card because it is a 12 12 portal spirit will be speaking to us through nature in the form of synchronicity for positive encouragement. You get your 10 new moon wishes. Please do not forget to do those. If you write things down that you want to bring into your life, like more money, more love, more joy, whatever it is, I try to keep it simple. So spirit has a plethora of ways to bring me what I'm asking for. I don't like, if I, I use the word like love, I don't specify what kind of love. If I want a particular kind of love, I never name a person. Right, leaving it open for spirit, letting them know what you're ready for is just fine. Optimism is running high today. If you have started, if a new thing has started for you recently, you're going to end up needing to put that on pause to go wrap up something else that you didn't finish, okay? If you didn't start a new thing recently, then expect something new to come rushing in and possibly move through your life pretty quickly. Like something being over as soon as it started. Like maybe you have a soul contract with this person and it involved, I don't know, a certain amount of time spent together in a certain way. Uh, it could be come and gone, you know, pretty quickly. Okay? So just careful with that if that's not what you like. On the 13th. We have a void, of course, moon at 1.48 a.m. EDT and at 10.31 a.m. 
that uh, moon, that waxing crescent moon, keep me on list of intentions of mine, goes into practical Capricorn, and it is conjunct, that's a less than 10 degree angle in the night sky, Mercury in Capricorn, but Mercury is retrograde. Because at 2.09 a.m., Mercury goes retrograde until January 1st, 2024. I apologize. <clears throat> Please don't shoot the messenger. You will need your active listening skills. Assume you are mishearing everyone. And just double check. Like, literally read back. <clears throat> okay, what I heard from you is that you want me to... You know, go to this store on this location at this time to acquire these things and then to immediately come home. Is that correct? <laughs> like that kind of thing. Because <coughs> you're going to need it. Okay? Because, I mean, it's the rest of the year. It What we're going to be in this mode of now is, one, remember that you are a human being, not a human doing. You are not measured by what you accomplish but by the content of your character, okay? Don't get into a weirdo mode. You have an old project you didn't finish. Spirit told you the day before what it is. Now you need to do it. Like, this is what it is. Today, Spirit's going to tell you something you need to finish up. It doesn't matter if you don't want to finish it up. You have to finish it up, okay? On the 14th. Because the rest of the year is just put your head down and work. you got to get this done. On the 14th, you have the waxing crescent moon in Capricorn trine. That's a 120 degree angle in the night sky. Uranus, the planet of disruption, retrograde in foundational Taurus. That system, process, procedure, governing body, authority, figure, authority having jurisdiction, whatever it was that kept you from accomplishing that task the first time around, there's still going to be a pain in your ass, okay? They're still there, and nothing has changed. So you need to get creative work with the workaround energy, people. So you got to figure out, you're not going to go through this obstacle. You have to figure out how to go around this obstacle, okay? There's not enough dynamite to get you through that mountain. you will be a waste of your time. Don't even try to convince them. Find another option. No new things until you finish this. On the 16th, the waxing crescent moody moon is now in Aquarius, humanitarian Aquarius. So now we're thinking about how we feel about our place within the world. And that self-focused sun is in dynamic Sagittarius. They've got a job to do and you're not going to deter them. They will plow right over you. Square. It's not good. 90 degree angle in the night sky. Neptune, the planet of an illusion in dreamy Pisces. <laughs> Some fire and water, they don't mix so well. Focus or imagination? Intensity or play? Who will win? Spirit says rest wins. We've been perhaps going a little too hard. And now we need to back down and get some sleep. This thing is not going to happen quick. You got the whole month. No need to, you know, freak out, okay? On the 18th, Messenger Mercury, retrograde, and Taskmaster Capricorn is trine. That's favorable. 120 degree angle in the night sky. Jupiter, the planet of luck, expansive Jupiter, retrograde. In luxury loving Taurus. Big ideas. And looking at the positive spin on the world will help you find a new approach to your problem. When you convince yourself that this is figure outable, you will actually be able to figure it out. Can you imagine, Aquarius? Put your mind to it. Aquarius, December 12th. To the 19th, Aquarius, December 12th, 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 
12th to the 19th, Aquarius, December 12th to the 19th, Aquarius, December 12th. to the 19th. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. Past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm describing energy. You're gonna place it on the person that sounds like, and then that's the relationship we're talking about. King of Swords is your energy, Aquarius, showing up in your own reading right away. You had something to think about. Five of Wands, there was some kind of conflict going on here. It's a group conflict, it's ridiculousness, it's drama, it's fighting, it's yelling, it's screaming, it's politics, world politics, office politics. Could be any number of BS. Fighting with people who are beneath you at that, because notice that you are the only kitty corn in this battle. The other ones are just cats. Fight with people who can't even begin to try to keep up with you, Aquarius. What are you doing? Six of Wands, you had some sort of victory, which is unsurprising because they were not, uh, you know, not on your level. Like you're awake and they're not. I don't mean like lesser or greater than. I mean like people who are never going to understand your point because they just don't have the requisite knowledge and they're not interested in trying. It's one thing when you encounter people and they're just ignorant because nobody's bothered to tell them, but they want to learn. Four of Wands. You have some sort of relationship going on right now. Peaceful. Could be married to this person, but you don't have to be. Could be on that path to that as well. That's a hoopa. It's a happily married couple. Uh, Wheel of Fortune in your near future. So the divine is involved. Something, some timing. Something that you've been waiting on. Time has passed. Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. You could be uh, dealing with somebody who is younger than you. Two of Pentacles. Somebody is doing some sort of juggling going on there. You to the someone could be an Aries. You're taking a leap of faith. Temperance card could be dealing with Sagittarius as well. That's uh, attempt to find balance. There's balance found in balance. Look at that. And then Five of Cups, though. There's some sadness that maybe you didn't know about. It's a Pisces Cancer energy with the moon. Uh, Libra energy with the Two of Swords. Some indecision. Because some factors that you didn't, you don't know anything about, are uh, it's gonna hit. You're gonna find something out here. Knight of Pentacles. Any Earth sign: Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Also, card of Leo. Could have you just slowly moving forward. What is this King of Swords in Aquarius's past? Okay. What is this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords? Okay, all right, so. You found out something, Page of Swords, possibly from a friend, Three of Cups situation, something that made you very happy. Ten of Cups, involved the group. 
It could be in your friends or family unit. It's a joyous occasion right there. Nine of Cups says the Ten of Cups is beautiful. What is this Five of Wands? Who are these haters that don't like your happiness? Oh, they feel lonely. They're coming at you from loss and lack. What's this Five of Wands? Yep. What's this Five of Wands? <laughs> What's this Five of Wands? Woo! What's this Five of Wands? No, come on now. That's far too many cards. Okay. What's this Five of Wands? So it's like four or five cards. What's the Five of Wands? Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Divine Tommy is a play. It's being funny. Because King of Swords to King of Swords. Aquarius energy there with the star as well. Somebody didn't like this. This change. Um, they could have been making decisions from a place of uh, lack. Lack and loss and fear. But there was an element of destiny in, in, in ha at hand with this timing. What is this Six of Wands? What is this Six of Wands? Promise. Okay. What's this Six of Wands? What's this Six of Wands? What's this Six of Wands? Okay. That explains that. There's the Five of Cups and the Outcome and the Two of Pentacles person up there. So. There was some sort of victory here that happened because something, you know, some promise was made possibly to this person, this two of pentacles energy. But there was this Cancer Pisces energy. There was something unknown, some unknown sadness. Maybe they didn't know about the promise, right? And they find out about it. What's this Four of Wands in Aquarius' present moment? Okay, so your relationship stresses somebody else out. What's this Four of Wands? What's this Four of Wands? Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy in the Capricorn. Also, card of Sagittarius, Queen of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra, also a card of Virgo. Knight of Pentacles is a card of Virgo, Two of Swords is a card of Libra. Temperance is a card of Sagittarius. Somebody's been way up in their head and afraid of something here. Right? So, there's going to be an apology. Or a communication from somebody. Feels like somebody from outside your relationship who's going to want to come talk about a particular relationship. Maybe your relationship, maybe their relationship, maybe their relationship with this Queen of Swords character. But it could also be an indication that you need to be using your judgment when interacting with this person. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Your discernment. Yeah, because it's nightmare energy, this nine of swords, right? Like this loneliness. What is this wheel of fortune? Yeah, what's this wheel of fortune? It's time to for something to uh, heal here. What's this wheel of fortune? What's this wheel of fortune? Yeah, okay. Standing at this crossroads because there's like this unhealed wound. Like this, unhealed wound. Right? Wheel of Fortune to Wheel of Fortune. Nightmare to loneliness. Right? Fighting. It's time for, for something to, you know, come to an end. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. It's time for something to come to an end. Some wound to be healed. Uh, that's what I keep hearing. Uh, Six of Swords. So you can move into these calmer waters. What's this Six of Cups? 
This person is a soulmate, whoever they are. What's the Six of Cups? Soulmates can be anybody for any reason. It just means somebody you had a soul contract with or somebody you lived a past life with. It does not mean that they are any kind of romantic partner in particular. Sometimes they are because they feel familiar and you know that it will work. So you, we gravitate towards them. So, But they don't have to be, okay? They don't have to be romantic like that. Okay, what's this uh, Six of Cups? This person could have been holding back. What's the Six of Cups? They may limit a distance. What's the Six of Cups? Can be dealing with a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer, also card of Gemini. Six of Pentacles. Something was unequal. Somebody was holding back. Somebody was like breadcrumbing. All right, but that's about to come to an end. Either this relationship's about to come to an end, or there could be some sort of travel happening here. So this person will no longer be holding back. What is this Two of Pentacles? And this person's going to get mad. This person here from your past. Who's feeling sad over a promise. What is this Two of Pentacles? What is this Two of Pentacles to that person? This Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. And they're going to come communicate with you, Page of Pentacles, about a commitment. Three of Pentacles. Contract, document, paperwork, marriage. They're uh, going to be, they're juggling something here. And they're going to be angry. They've fought, probably fought with you on this subject matter in the past. They're going to fight with you on this subject matter in the future. Page of Pentacles, there's a need for them to move forward or move on. Page of Pentacles there. They're likely the person who's going to end up being in uh, the sadness like there was down here. What's this Fool card? It's a Fool card. It's a Fool card. Come on. Just one. Thank you. Okay, so it's Aries Energy, the Fool. Taking a leap of faith, but you might need to plan and organize like your schedule. Time management might be important. What's this Fool card? What's this full card? What's this full card? You're gonna, that's your energy, Knight of Cups. Um, so you might have been waiting to be able to celebrate something for the right time, for when the schedules would align. Could have been waiting for something to grow in particular, but now you're ready. You ready to move forward? What's this temperance card? Compromise. Okay. What's this temperance card? What's this temperance card? What's this temperance card? Okay. All right. All right. I see. Okay. This is a reminder. The confusion does not come from the divine. An attempt to create confusion is indeed a betrayal. The divine is a Taurus energy also, the Hierophant, but it's also the divine. Higher education, higher learning, and the divine. The divine wants balance. The divine wants compromise. So this person's not going to particularly like the idea of compromise. They're going to want conquer, and you're not going to offer conquer. So they're going to feel some way about that. What's this Five of Cups? Like we should really care what they're feeling. Five of Cups. They're sad. And they need some help. What's this Five of Cups? What's this Five of Cups? So they might have money problems. Yeah. And that's what gets illuminated for you with that Sun card. So they're creating this uh, stressors. They're creating problems. It's a nightmare for them. This is part of why they're so opposed. There's some sort of financial tie between you and them. And they don't want to lose that financial tie. Follow the money. What's this moon card? The spirit wants you to see something that you're not. What's this moon card? It's Cancer Pisces energy. What's this moon card? What's this moon card? I'm just going to carry over to there. And look, balance over there. Yeah, this, this is going to get revealed. Pay attention to somebody's language. Very carefully. 
right? Especially if there's a contract, document, paperwork, marriage involved, okay? Anything going through the legal system. Pay very close attention. Spirit is going to be sending. Remember, this is a portal time. This is when Spirit's talking to us. We are get Spirit's always talking to us. We are just better at listening during portal times. So listen carefully. There is... The Spirit is revealing something that was hidden and unknown to you so that you can bring balance to a situation. What's this Two of Swords? This is something they don't want you to see. Feeling undecided about a commitment. What's this Two of Swords? It's a nightmare for someone else. What's this Two of Swords? Okay. What's this Two of Swords? This Libra energy with the Justice card. Future. Okay, so no lie. Uh, somebody could want you to stay undecided about a marriage. Okay. Justice card and commitment like that. Yeah, confusion and uh, with the moon card and then indecision. Somebody is deliberately trying to throw confusion energy at you, trying to be this, you know. They, they might even think that they're doing you a favor, but all they're doing is throwing negativity. They're being a Debbie Downer. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah. They're doing the work of the opposition. What's this Knight of Pentacles? I urge you not to listen to this person. What's this Knight of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah. They're going to argue with you. Five of Swords. You're going to know who they are because they're arguing with you. Full card because you're in that full energy. They're feeling defensive. They're not even under their own power. Okay? They are doing the work of the opposition. I urge you not to listen to them. Let's, let's see. Okay. This is the Crystal Oracle. What advice does Aquarius need to see to find the perfect solution? Okay, what do we got? Carnelian. A cherry red carnelian is used by ancient Romans in signet rings. Um, the wax, because the wax didn't stick to it. Well, that's interesting. Ward off. Okay, so worn by modern folk to ward off any insecurities. Helps ward off non-action. So it, it should make the confusion energy not work. Yeah, because confusion energy tries to slow us down. So this uh, gets rid of the confusion energy. Uh, Under-stimulated anybody. The under-stimulated anybody looking for... Uh, to, looking to get acquainted with their fears. it injects some passion and some energy so yeah somebody is attempting to throw confusion energy at you deliberately wear carnelian let's give you some advice advice for aquarius december 12th to the 19th advice for aquarius december 12th to the 19th So Virgo Gemini energy with the magician page of Pentacles it's an opportunity there's an opportunity you're manifesting but you're gonna need to let go of something that doesn't serve you you can't keep both Aquarius if you have a yes or no question you would like answered this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it I'm gonna pull three cards this is your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions you would like answered Message for Aquarius. Get more information. Message for Aquarius. Choose a new direction. Message for Aquarius. A year from now. Yes, no, yes. 
just this has got a delay. But for that one, there's things you're not seeing, things you don't know. Remember, confusion energy. If it feels off, dig in. Advice for Aquarius, December 12th to the 19th. Question things. Time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. Advice for Aquarius, December 12th to the 19th. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Advice for Aquarius, December 12th to the 19th. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. And a new start is coming. New moon. Well, the new moon is today. And we just had that full moon in Gemini. So something that started in the end of November that is from your past is shaking off because this energy towards the new thing is building up. So you will be able to close out this cycle that you need to close so you can have the new. You actually have already been given what you need. It's a matter of whether or not you wanted to do the work or not. Message for Aquarius. Rainbows of love. All about you are rainbows of love. Breathe in and welcome the sweet joy of life that is entering your energy field. You are a rainbow child. And we are cherish you. Well, I hope that helps Aquarius because it's what I have for you. And just remember as you go about the world this week that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have the right to be here.